Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and tonight I have a Dollar Tree. That's the cats. Tonight I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I'm actually gonna be filming two back to back because I have some DIYs and I need my supplies. But I got some coffee because it's gonna be a late night. Mmm, delicious. In my Halloween mug, I've decorated my house for Halloween, which I don't typically do, but I found so many fun things that I wanted to decorate. All right, this is a pretty big Dollar Tree haul. I've got all kinds of different stuff here. So what I think I'm gonna do is start, I did organize it. I know, crazy, right? I'm gonna start with general crafty business and we'll move around to seasonal. How about that? And I even have a box to put it all in so I can carry it where it needs to go instead of leaving it in my living room. I'm trying to be tidy about things, you know. All right, let's go. First things first, boring, but um, part of my budgeting is I have a coin jar and I'm going to use that coin jar for Christmas. So I need to wrap my coins soon. Not now, probably in November. I want to see if I can get some more coins in there, but they sell these and they're great and they work and I needed them. So I got those, boring. Um, I did find this four by four frame and if you can see behind it, it's clear. I don't know, like I have to take it out of its wrapper, but I think this black plastic comes out and then you have two pieces of glass. So you could smush something in there. Um, I have seen this trend on TikTok where you put a Cricut design with your Cricut or a sticker and then they paint on the back to make the, the de design on that pop. I don't know, but I saw these and I decided I needed two of them just for general craft purposes. I don't have any plans specifically for these, but you never know. There's a lot of that today. I grabbed two packages of these. So all of these wooden cutouts and wooden designs and all the wood stuff, this will stain it like wood. Now how much you get in each color, I don't really know, but it's mahogany, walnut, and black. And I've definitely used these on craft wood before and it works just like a stain. So I grabbed two packs. I think I took the other one upstairs already to my craft room, but I grabbed two packages of these because they're fantastic, especially for those little wooden pieces. These will work great. Or the ornament cutouts. These work good for that as well. Or touch up anything. They're good for a dollar. Um, I grabbed a pack of these makeup wedges to paint, to do stenciling. Um, these are great for dabbing. If you want to dab paint instead of I don't use them for makeup. I use them for crafting, but they're fantastic. And you get 28 pieces, which means I just use them in a color and then throw them away. Uh, I just, for me, that works well. Um, I picked up these pop dot adhesives. Now I got these for a very specific reason. Um, well, I heard somebody, but you get 264 of these little sticky dots. And I think they're puffy. I'm using them in the advent calendar, I think. Um, but they're great for all kinds of craft, basic crafting. They're sticky. Um, I grabbed some toothpicks for crafting and baking. I was out. And I like to use them to test for doneness. Also, I'm going to be, I should do a, uh, it on one of my vlogs. But I saw a recipe on the TikTok where you take piece of kielbasa, you wrap it with a half a piece of bacon and clip it off or pin it off with a toothpick. And then in that opening, you put cream cheese mixed with cheddar cheese and jalapenos. And it's kind of like a jalapeno popper. They cooked them in an air fryer, but I don't have an air fryer. So I'll put mine in the oven, but I needed toothpicks. It, it is what it is. Um, I grabbed two of these signs. I think these are great. I will probably actually take one of those markers and stain this wood. I'm really loving the black with the stained wood look. And then you can, I think it's supposed to be a chalkboard. I don't know if it works like a chalkboard, but um, white paint pen, Cricut stickers. You can put a lot of stuff on here and make a signs. 
and they stand up on their own, which I like. Now I grabbed two, and honestly, if you were inclined, you could make an A-frame and have a two-sided. I don't plan on doing that, but it definitely is something you could do. I grabbed two because I bought, apparently buy everything in twos. I don't know, it's probably my crazy, who knows? Um, yeah, I thought these would be fun. I hadn't seen them in a while at my stores, um, but if you like the size but not the frame, I'm pretty sure this wood will pop off. Um, you could also spray paint them. I mean, I'm gonna tell you, I'm a little obsessed with spray paint and I spray paint all the things. And again, these are just general crafty things. Um, what the heck at Dollar Tree? Who are you? So this is an easel. You could put a paint set together for a little person in your life they get them some can, you know, some canvas, some paints, and an easel, and call it. Um, it does have the butterfly, I think these are called, screw at the top. This is being held right now by the tag. These are definitely getting painted in my life, and I'm thinking they will look really good on my mantle and just put signs on them. I've never seen these before at the Dollar Tree, so I grabbed three. I know I broke my own rule. Um, but I definitely want to spray paint one for the holidays black, and then I'll have two others. I might share one with Sarah, too, my niece. But I think these are fantastic for signs. I mean, there's a million things you can do with them. Now, I think this one, if you see, it, you need the, the butterfly screw up here to hold it. Or you could attach, like, a string or a cord or something to it, but... I grabbed three of those because I've never seen them before and I don't know that I'll ever see them again. So I just want to make sure that I have enough. And again, I got just some plain wood. I I'm going to tell you, I have, my hair is crazy today. I have seen all the people buying up those wood scraps, the little weird shaped woods. But here's the thing. It is not cost effective. I'm not doing it. I rather go to the hardware store and just buy a piece of, it's furring strip wood is what it is. It's really rustic. You can get a long, 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 long piece for like $4 and cut it. But if you wanna use those, use it. I, For me, I'd rather just use my miter box and cut the size woods that I want. But this, I do like. So my thought is, you know how you have your welcome signs that lean on your front door, by your front door, that was like a trend? I think it still is. How fun would it be to make a miniature version for like a tiered tray or to lean on your mantle or you could put a little piece of wood block behind it and it'll just stand up. I mean, how fun. So I grabbed two, um, two because of my crazy. Um, but I thought these would be fun to do like a welcome or believe or a Christmas tree on it. My tiered tray that I'm using for Christmas is different than the one I have now. It's a snowman and it's pretty deep. Who is out there banging doors? Um, it's dark out and I keep hearing doors bang. But anyway, um, it's pretty deep so I need some larger things to fill it this Christmas. So I grabbed two of these. I think they're fantastic. Just wood hanging decor, but I like the vertical hang. And then what I will most likely do is take the strings off and I fill these holes and they're tiny on this one, which is nice, but I fill them with um, lightweight spackle and just paint over it. So that again is just your basics. Now we need to talk about this. I bought the vinyl in white. We've discussed that I don't like it for my Cricut. However, I do like it to like cover, full coverage on something. I mean, let's just say I wanted this white. I would just take this vinyl and stick it to it. And now you're done and it's smooth and clean and clear. Some people have had luck cutting this, some people have not. Uh, but I got some white just because I think it'll be fun. And also if you want to color, those um galvanized signs instead of paint use this vinyl it's a buck now the other thing i got which looks the same but it isn't this is transfer tape now transfer tape if you don't have a cricket or if you haven't used your cricket yet what you do with transfer tape is once you've cut on your cricket and you've pulled away you take this and put it over 
I'll have to show you. And you peel the backing off and everything you have spaced stays and then it transfers the design. So we're gonna see if the transfer tape works. Um, I will tell you whenever I do Cricut stuff, I buy the Dollar Tree clear shelf liner and I have used that for years as my transfer tape. I've never, I mean, yeah, sometimes it's not the best, but I rarely have an issue with it. But Dollar Tree is carrying a product called transfer tape. So we're gonna try it out. The next time I get my Cricut, we're gonna use, uh, when the next time I cut something, we're gonna use this to transfer it. So I think that's it, yes, of just general crafty business uh, that I have just to kind of replenish some of my stock. I go through a lot of stuff. Now we'll go into general housey stuff and maybe some gifts. Um, I did find these gold toe and these are called the little black sock. Look how fancy they are. They're a nice dress sock with the gray and black. And then in the back, there's just another pair of plain black with the ruffles. Um, I think I've mentioned before at my part-time job, we wear black socks uh, because we wear black pants. So I'm always buying black socks and I need to replace you know, it's time. I got rid of a lot. When I bought all these gold toe socks, I got rid of a ton of my gross socks. Just got rid of them. Donated and threw some away that were holy. And then I found boot socks. And I wear a lot of booties in the winter if I ever get to leave the house. So those are just some blue and then some black or navy. I think that might be a navy. Could be a navy, could be a black. Um, just boot socks. So they're thicker than a regular sock. And I have a ton of booties that I love to wear with my jeans. Speaking of, I have a, um, I'm putting together a fall clothing haul to show you some try on stuff. So that'll be coming up soon. But I grabbed these, these are for me. I just, I love socks. And I wanted to get rid of, like I said, I purged my sock drawer a lot. Um, I found this hat. It's not a hat, it's like an, like ear. I don't want to put it on because I feel like it will mess up my hair even more. It's ladies and it just keeps your ears warm. Um, I think I've mentioned a hundred times I work at the football stadium and the last couple games of the season, it's pretty cold. So I thought this would be perfect just to keep my ears warm if I get cold. So I grabbed it. They had it in black, gray, navy, and maroon. I just got the black. Not necessary really for my life other than if I get cold. And also if I work hockey at the Schottenstein Center, the arena, um, it gets cold in there too and I can wear that. So I'll just probably leave it in my work bag. Oh, you already saw those. Um, look at this fun shape. This is for springtime. I'll put it out in my summer spring tote. It's a candle, but I think on the tray behind me or up on my wall where I have those Dollar Tree hanging, this is a perfect size and I love this color, especially for spring. Um, I think there's a, yeah, there's a scent. It says it's sun-kissed eucalyptus. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like, but I just really want it for the container. Oh, it's cracked. Aww know how that happened it's broken oh well I'll have to exchange it or throw it away and get a new one but they're cute I just realized it broke I think I heard it crack the bag drop okay now um Dollar Tree's getting a new book so I I have seen a lot of people hauling like children's books which I'm super excited about I'm hoping my store gets some in, um, but they just started unloading unlo books at a couple of my stores. And then I'm assuming this stuff is like Barnes and Noble, but these are actually gift tags. It's a box of the Fox and the Star. I'm trying to open it. I don't know how many, well, I guess we can just count, but they are, there's a lot. They are a gift tag and it doesn't have to be for Christmas, but look how fun. So you get the one with the fox, but look at this one. Honestly, you can use these as coasters too. They're really hard. That's a pretty one. Uh, really hard cardboard. And you can put a note on the back. 
Oh, how many are there here? One, two, three, four. That one's pretty. Five. Here's the fox. Six. That's pretty. Seven. Oh, look at that fox. Eight. You get 10. Look at that one. And this one. I just think they are so fun. They could be pretty ornaments too. If you do like a celestial theme Christmas tree or something. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, for a dollar, I'm always giving gifts. I can use these tags for anything or I could gift them. But I'm going to use these and then I will probably reuse this box because it's nice. So I grabbed that and then I found this book and it's, um, I don't know, I think it was regularly like $19 or something, but it's called The Hip Girl's Guide to Homemaking, Decorating, Dining, and the Gratifying Pleasures of Self-Sufficiency on a Budget. And it just talks about all kinds of things. Whose job is this? Housekeeping how to hang a picture, how to dr use a drill. Like there's just, oh, excuse me, all kinds of fun things. Um, oh, sorry, my nose itches. I'm thinking like this would be perfect for a recent graduate, a high school senior, college graduate, and you know, anybody in your life, but how to make raised garden bed. Can't have your house plants keep you alive too. I mean, it just talks about all kinds of just life things that, you know, it's a great read. I think it's great for any young person. How to take care of uh, wood floors, linoleum floors, tile floors. I mean, there's so much information in this book and I think it's fantastic. And it doesn't have to be a girl. If you have a guy that's moving out on his own, he needs a book too, trust me. There was stuff on tips on ironing, all kinds of stuff in there. And I just thought it was pretty fantastic. So I grabbed that. Then, oh, I'm so excited. Um, so I went to a Dollar Tree tonight. Oh, it's itching. And I turned the corner and on one of the end caps, they had all this cake decorating stuff, including the cardboard with the shiny stuff that you could like put a cake on, a round one and a rectangle. I was like, this is fantastic. They had tools if you wanted to do fondant. But what I was most excited about are these piping bags. When I do my keto baking, I use these all the time. Now these are a little small. These are only 12 inch. I think I have 16 or 18 inch bags now. I'm not gonna worry about it. Also great for frosting cookies. If you have little ones this Christmas time coming up, make some cookies, buy the already cut out ones, bake them, whatever, and then just put different colors of frosting. You could take the white frosting, color it, and put one in each of these bags and let the kids go to town. I would tie off the end with like a twist tie or one of those clips or something because if they squeeze too hard, you know, but tie it or not. These are fantastic. So I grabbed two because I do use these a lot and they had tips also that you could get to put in them and spatulas like what they had offset they had straight and then they had like an artist palette one almost i was so excited to see all that quite frankly if you have a young baker go buy a bunch of that stuff for a few bucks and you got the perfect christmas present give them some bagged baking mixes some awesome ten dollars you could set some little person up to bake anything they wanted for me, I just needed a replacement. These are great to frost cookies with Christmas coming and I utilize these pretty much once a week. Um, because the batters that I cook with for keto are um, pretty runny. It's not like if I need to pipe into a, a mold or something pretty much, that's what I will use that for. So I thought that was fantastic find. I was super excited to see that. And it is the Voila. These are Dollar Tree brands. So I would assume most stores are going to get them. Now on the gifting front, if you have anybody who wears makeup, they have out the new, their blending brushes or their blending sponges and a blending sponge travel case. They had at my store, this pa green pear, they had a strawberry and they had a um, pineapple. And they also had the blending sponges. But you can get any brand blending sponge. I just got this one. It's a charcoal. It's a for makeup if you're not a 
familiar with what these are for. You wet them and it blends your makeup. And when you travel, if we ever get to travel again, you stick them in this piece. It just goes right in the center. I don't want to open it because I'm going to give it to my little cousin. Um, and then you snap it shut. And when you're traveling, this doesn't get gross. It's like a toothbrush case, really. But again, fun little gift ideas, especially for like, if you have some teens in your life, you know, you maybe give them some makeup and then these brushes. I mean, everybody's on a budget. And I know we're all, not all buying gifts at the Dollar Tree, but these are certainly ideas for stockings or whatever that you can add with other gifts to kind of make things special. Um, I'll give her some this, some makeup, and then cash for Christmas, but... I thought this was fantastic and I only have seen these at one of my stores. I don't know if that means they're not all getting them, but I don't know. So that is fun. Is that everything in that world? I think so. I'm trying to keep everything sorted where it goes. Okay, now we are gonna talk about some more seasonal stuff here. Um, I found this, which is adorable. It's a little spider votive holder. I don't know that I love the face to go with my decor, but I'm probably thinking I could take off the little fun face with nail polish remover or just turn it around. Like, I like the idea of this. I think it is adorable, but I don't like the face. So we're going to try to get the face off. Maybe I'll start. I just feel it. I can feel it. Yeah, I think it's just a sticker. I'll dig it off, but I'm going to take the face off mine. All that to say, I'm taking the face off of it and just using the spider. Because I think it's adorable. Put it in your tray if you've got a tear tray. I just put a few Halloween things in my tear tray just because I only try to keep Halloween in this area. Speaking of fall, Halloween's giving, um... Hello, and I will tell you a quick little story. I'm glad I grabbed this one I did because the lady behind me took every single one of them. I was like, do you really need them all? Apparently she did. This is a new shape this year. It's the faux mercury glass. So if you put a candle in here, it will glow. Wherever you see like the silver, it, it's see-through. So you'll see it will glow. And I love these. And they had it in this color orange and a silver. I don't need anything for Christmas as far as that goes. I've got plenty of the stuff, but I think this would be cute. Just tie some little twine around it and put, drop a votive or one of those, if you don't do real candles, drop one of those um, battery operated tea lights in here and it will light up so pretty. It would even be fun on like a front porch decor. If you have like pumpkins and stuff out, you can maybe on Halloween night, drop a tea light down in there and let it just glow all night. But I love this and I'm excited. I only needed one. I know. Out of character for me, but I have a lot of stuff, guys. Um, I about squealed when I found the fabric. So excited. So I found the skull, the sugar skulls. And if you're not aware, these are fat quarters, I believe. Uh, 20 by 21. I think it's a fat quarter. Um, and it's decent quality. I've sewn with it before. It's just cotton. 100%. I believe this is 100% cotton. Um, I would say if you're going to sew something, maybe wash it first and then give it a good iron before you sew with it just to get the sizing out if it's something that will be washed. Um, but yeah, I got the sugar skulls. I got, I want to open this. It's for me. It's black cats. The sugar skulls, I think I'm doing something else with. Um, but the black cats, oh, sticky, are for me. Okay, it's just black cats. Um, I will tell you though, if you wash it, your your ends will fray. But that's what size it is. It's a decent size. Um, but this is just black cats with yellow eyes and purple eyes. I think I'm gonna make like a knitting bag or something for myself with this to keep seasonal projects in. I don't know, I love it. So I need to wash that and then get it all ironed. And then I also found candy corn. I was gonna use the candy corn on the inside of my black cat, 
I don't necessarily like though using a dark fabric in a bag because it makes it hard to see. So I will probably just get some white fabric and line all these with white and then I'll just make a candy corn something too. But I thought it was super fun. Um, there might have been some other options, but those are the three that I liked. Uh, I know people have hauled these, the signs with the bones. I just thought it was creepy. <laughs> That's what it says. Creepy. Um, yeah, so not much to say about that. It's plastic. You can paint it if you want, leave it bone colored. I don't know what I'll do with it, but I thought it was fun. So I grabbed that. Um, I did pick up one package of the pumpkins with the jack-o'-lantern on them. Not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I thought they were fun and I liked the size. And sometimes just taking them off the stick is fun and putting them in a tray or base filler or just sitting them around. We'll see. They may not get used this year. Um, I do sometimes store things till the next season when I decide what I'm going to do with it. Um, speaking of, so I got some different bones. The other bones are plastic. These are styrofoam and they're tiny and I don't, I don't think they glow. I, I feel like it would say if they glowed, but these are just a different, it's just a different feel to them. So these are styrofoam. The other ones I got were hard plastic. Then I might have found a little nut. I found, and I'm not sure if I showed you all these before, but I found these little velvet pumpkins, which are also vase filler, but you could do a myriad of things with them. I got them in white, and then I got them in this light orange. It's looking a little more neon than it is, but just a light orange. And then I found them in this dark, which is my preferred orange. And together, I feel like you mix them up in a bowl or I have for Halloween or for when I bring out Thanksgiving, I have, and I'm sure everybody and their brother has it, it's the clear glass pumpkin with the lid and I might drop all of these in there, mix them up and just have that candy dish full of velvet pumpkins because I'm not going to put candy out. So I thought these were fun in these three colors and you do get six. And they have a plastic stem that you could totally paint if you wanted like a metallic or something. And they're squishy and it's like a velour or a velvety feel to them. So I grabbed those and then I found the black and white buffalo check, which these will go in my kitchen. And quite frankly, my kitchen is this year round. And these are so a little slightly smaller I saw them in the black and white and then I saw them in the um blue or orange and white I didn't care for the orange and white but I liked the black and white and this is literally what I saw that's it two of them so I grabbed them because that's what you do right oh I got a snack uh, uh these are fruit gummies I will not eat these on the regular because they're pretty high in carbohydrates. Um, they come with original apple, mandarin, and plumberry. This weekend, I'm going backpacking in the woods and I'll be burning a lot of calories. And so I need some energy. So I grab some of these for a quick energy source. I do not, as a diabetic, I don't eat these on the regular, but when I'm exercising a lot, I need something, so I grab those just to have in case my blood sugar goes a little wonky. Oh, and part of general crafting, again, I got some of these laminate sheets. And what these are great for, besides laminating something, but they're sticky. So if you print out a sticker and you want to say, put or print out a um, cop, photocopy something, you want to decorate onto like a glass jar, if you put up this on the front and then cut around it, it and then glue it on, or if you print it on sticky back paper and cut it out in your Cricut, 
and then you cover it with this and cut it out, what you end up with is like a water resistant shiny sticker instead of what looks like paper. I'll have to show you, I, I'll have to print on my sticker paper and then show you what it looks like when you cover it with these little laminating sheets. So this is just general crafting as well. I don't have a, a reason for those just yet. Um, I feel like the creepy cloth got a makeover. I mean, I know it did because this is a different package, but I love it. First of all, it feels like pantyhose, like a pantyhose package. Um, and if you're, you know, you know, if you're my age, um, white and black. I have black on my mantle and I feel like this year it's a little more wispy and less dense fabric, which I love. Um, but when the way it was packaged before, it was like open and it would get messy. So I love that it's in these containers. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do black or white cobwebs. I got a couple of each and this for sure will just get put in my Halloween bin for next year. Because that's how I, I roll things. I have been babbling for 30 minutes, guys. We're almost done. Um, I found a truck. It's, it's not red, it's not blue, it's just a truck. So this can be anything that I want it to be. And I don't know what I want it to be, but I saw it and thought, hey, that's nice and plain. I can paint it any color I want. I can make it Christmas by throwing a Christmas tree back here or put some pumpkin cutouts back here. I mean, there's a million things. Or just leave it plain. I don't know. I liked it. I bought it. And then I grabbed her because she's just terrifying. But I thought about for a hot minute doing the bleach shirts that everybody's doing. It's a trend right now. And you throw these on your shirt. So you put a shirt down, uh, plastic in between. You put this down and then you spray bleach around it. Let it sit, wash it. And wherever this was will be black or blue or whatever color. And then where the bleach was around it will be dyed. Um, so I thought if I did it, this is kind of cool. If not, um, yeah, it could be my mask. Guys, I think I'm damaged. I found some sugar skull bags. I love the sugar skulls. And I don't feel like this, I mean, obviously it's Day of the Dead, but. So this one has this sugar skull and these bags are, this is shiny. There's some metallic on the front, pretty flat on the back black but then the bag on the back is so pretty and it just says day of the dead and that pattern does go all the way around and I think I'll take some candy to my cousins and I'll deliver or you can cut these sugar skulls out and make something else and I got the sugar skull in purple and then on um, this one it's just skull skeletons same deal the back side is not shiny. The front side is shiny and black. And then this one, the pattern just goes all the way around. And I just thought these were super cute. Even if I take um, some trick or treat gifts or fun stuff to my little neighbors, the kids on my street, take them some candy, I can put them in here. Or if you have somebody that really likes Halloween, wrap their Christmas present in it. They would appreciate you because it's a fun thing. So I grabbed that and I have a couple more things. I finally found the mason jar with the letters in it. Now, all of this is just printed on like cardboard. So my thought is take off the metal, strip it down, paint it, and then decorate it and maybe put like a colored paper or something behind it and do something for Christmas. I don't know. I grabbed two. They had two in my letter. So I grabbed, because I buy everything in twos, but also I like to buy in twos because um, if I'm crafting and I make a mistake, I would like to have a backup. Really, that's part of the twos that I'm making. So for this situation, I, I mean, this is fine and everything, but I want to do something with it. So I grabbed the two. If I don't make a mistake on the first one, I have the second one. If I make a mistake on the first one, I have a second one. Um, probably what I will do, like I said, is strip off everything, spray paint it a matte color, and then decorate it from there. So that's kind of fun. So I grabbed a couple of those. Um, 
I need you to be sitting down for this one. And if you stick, if you stuck around this long, you're going to be shook like I am. I found stretched canvas in black. What? It's black. It is straight up black stretch canvas. These are eight by 10, I believe. Yeah, these are the eight by 10. It took, it saved me a step. And what I'm gonna do is white Cricut on here. And then I'll probably have to seal it because Cricut doesn't stick great. The Cricut vinyl doesn't stick great to canvas. But how fun with a chalkboard is very on trend right now. And this is fantastic. So I grabbed two, right. And then the last thing I grabbed two of, guys, help me. Uh, I grabbed these placemats. I think they're fantastic. Now I know these do have the satiny back and I know some people who will separate the layers and stuff them for pillows. Totally can do that. I probably am not doing that. I think I'm just going to use them as like um, on my end tables or put them on my coffee table for Thanksgiving or something or on my dining room table. But look at the pumpkins. And the back is nice. Like These are a decent quality. You can also like sew them together and stuff them if you want. I, th I would see this at Kohl's for three or four dollars right? This is a good quality product. So I know they come in a different design, I believe. I don't know. The back is like, I don't know what that polyester I would have to say, but some people, like I said, they, pl they pluck the threads here open it up stuff it if you have an old house pillow that you're getting rid of use the stuffing and stuff one of these and you can just hot glue it shut and now you have a seasonal decor pillow for your couch for a dollar and you can't beat that guys one shiny dollar so that is everything i hope you stuck around till the end if you did Thank you. I appreciate it. Let me know down below what your favorite is. And I will be back with another giant Christmas haul here shortly. Bye, everybody. Have a good one.